it's clear, guys, that uh, we say that the combustion chamber is the bucket at the end when the piston is finishing the compression, uh, the bucket between the head and the piston, that bucket is the combustion chamber. Oh. And uh, in, that small, in that small area is that the explosion is produced. That's okay? In that small area is that the explosion is produced. In other words, in that small bucket, you create that, that area completely sealed uh, because you have a good piston rings, good piston rings, you don't have leaks, or because the valves close properly, you don't have leaks through the valves, or because the head gasket is perfect, or because the metal on the head and the block is not cracked, no? That th those, those elements create, create the combustion chamber. Let me explain something about the combustion chamber because uh, I explained that uh, in diesel engines to produce the explosion, I only need what? You need compressed compression? air, 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 air. At what temperature? 1,000. More than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and more than a 400 PSI. If you have both components, more than 400 PSI and more than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, probably if you inject, if you atomize the fuel liquid, the fuel ignite and produce the explosion. That's okay? Ah, nice. But I need those two components. This is why, what is the most important factor to keep my diesel engine running in good conditions? The compression. The compression is the most important. If, if I have low compression in all the cylinders, my diesel engine start? No, start low. Because the compression is too low. You know a lot of videos in YouTube, in uh, different channels, that uh, to start all diesel engines in the morning, the guys needed added through the intake manifold hot air or flame here to help to start at the beginning. Because probably the compression, the temperature in the combustion chamber is not enough to ignite the fuel. Is clear? So, so. Or in some cases, you hear that uh, some diesel engines, they have preheaters to start the engine in the morning at the beginning. Mm. Or they have glove plugs, other special elements that uh, preheat the combustion chamber. When the fuel enter atomized over there, the area is preheated and ignite. You understand? Let me explain this head. Look at this. This is a head of a typical diesel engine, completely flat. And you see intake and exhaust valve, and you see the injector here, no? Between both valves. Ah, in this head, the injector, the, the injection is direct injection, because the injection is directly in the middle between both valves. In this engine, you have intake valve, exhaust valve, but uh, you don't see the injector here. Oh, the injector is inside of this small pocket. Inside of this pocket, if you check with the flashlight, you have two elements. Here, inside of this, you have two elements. You have the injector and you have the glove plug over there inside of that small pocket. And that small pocket have a hole. Look at this. The injector and this element is a resistor. This element, if you check here, guys, is located here in front of the injector. And this element is connected with a cable connected with the ignition switch in the first position, preheat. In the first position, ignition, preheat. You bring power here, and this element is in short with the ground and become red. When this, this element become red, what happened with the temperature inside of this pocket? Oh, it's too hot. Immediately the injector inject the fuel, produce the explosion, and that explosion goes out and fill the combustion chamber. The name of that pocket is the pre-combustion chamber. Ah, the engines with glove plugs, they are also called 
engines with pre-combustion chamber. Not all of them, they have glove plugs. Other engines, they have other methods to preheat the combustion chamber before the first explosion. Some of them, they have here in the intake manifold, like a resistor, electrical resistor. When the air coming from the air filter pass over there, the resistor is red and the air enters hot. No? This is another, another form of a preheat. Yeah? But that, that engine doesn't have pre-combustion chamber. It's direct injection. Direct injection with preheater here. This one is pre-combustion chamber with glove plugs. The glove plug, the people say, the people say in the industry, oh, the glove plug is exactly the same like the spark plug. No, 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 no. No, this element not produce a spark. Only preheat the area. This one produces a spark, that's different. Because gasoline ignites with the spark. The diesel engine ignites only with the temperature of the combustion uh, chamber. So that's okay? Is that